Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Tatiana and today I'm filming an unboxing. This is the Illumicrate book for March and honestly, I am so excited. As per usual, when I film an unboxing, Kiwi undoubtedly decides to appear, so I am sorry if she causes chaos. However, I have been waiting for this book for the longest time. I do know what this one is. I'm so, so excited for it. I'm so excited to see what they've done with it. And I'm really hoping that it does blow me away because I did order the standard edition for this book. I thought I ordered the exclusive Waterstones edition, but I didn't, so I did send it back. I'm still debating ordering that Waterstones edition though, so I don't know. Maybe if this is stunning, I will go against that. But once again, we don't have the yellow Illumicrate bag. I don't know if this is a new thing that they're trying out, but yeah, it's a bit of a shame because you can obviously see the book. Straight away though, without looking too much at it, I can see that there is a color change, which I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel about. So I am just gonna try and open this without really looking at it. It is difficult though, because I've got a nosy dog here, as you can see, and she is very interested in what is happening. But here we have, oh wow, it's so reflective. <laughs> Do you like it? Oh, thank you. Thank you. <gasps> wow. Okay, let me try and show you this without the foiling just reflecting completely. It's very hard to see if this is in focus or not, but look at this, you guys. Can you see just how beautiful this is? These are the stenciled edges that we have. Oh my gosh, again, I'm absolutely obsessed. It carries on the foiling from the front cover onto the book itself, and of course we have a ship there. Then this is the back of it, which is a lot easier to see, but I am genuinely so blown away by this edition. It is beautiful. Beautiful. What I'll do, I'll pop a cover of the original cover up on screen for you guys. That one is beautiful. However, this is so striking, which is why it's blowing me away so much. The standard edition is a lot more muted than this one. This one is just golden, as you can see. Let's check to see what we have under the dust jacket, though. Ooh, okay. We have more foiling, which I'm definitely here for. We have a fountain and I believe a goddess at the top, but I might be wrong. Wow, the end pages are gorgeous. So this is what they look like. And of course you can see that it is signed by the author there as well. Of course, in a gold Sharpie, which is definitely fitting for this edition. These are the end pages on the back. Again, we have that gold foiling and again, it's just beautiful. And I'm just completely blown away by this edition. I am going to tell you guys what it's about now though because I think we've gone through all the special edition elements of this. So it says, death was only the start of her story. In the cursed kingdom of Ithaca, each summer brings the hanging of twelve maidens, a gift to the vengeful Poseidon. For seventeen years, Leto has escaped the curse's mark until now. But death does not claim Leto. Instead, she wakes on a mysterious island greeted by the immortal Melantho. She tells Leto that Ithaca's sacrifices are the legacy of the great Odysseus, payments for the lives of Queen Penelope's twelve maids cast into the ocean centuries ago. Leto has the chance to break the curse, she just has to kill the Prince of Ithaca. But Prince Matthias also seeks to free his kingdom from the curse. Torn by her growing love for both Melantho and Matthias, Leto must choose a path to follow. By breaking the curse, they will save thousands of lives. But if they fail, then the tides of fate will drown them all. That just sounds amazing. I am probably gonna buy the Waterstones exclusive edition as well. Just because I feel like it'll be nice to have both. This is a story that I do think I'm gonna love. You guys know how I feel about Greek mythology and Greek retellings, so I am predicting that this is going to be a five-star read for me. I do also think that it would be better for me to read the Waterstones edition as well because I really don't want to damage this pretty one, so I might still do that. But again, as an edition, this is beautiful. I cannot wait to read it and hopefully I will love it just as much as I think I will. Please do let me know what you thought of this edition down below. You guys know I absolutely love it. I can't wait to read the book and the edition is just stunning. And if you have made it this far through into the video, please go ahead and leave me a boat emoji down in the comments. I say this all the time, but seeing you guys comment the emoji of the video truly does mean the world to me. So if you have made it this far through, but don't have anything in particular that you would like to say, definitely go ahead and do that now. As well as that, please don't forget to click the like button if you like this video and the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content from me. But that is it from me today guys and Kiwi of course and I will see you soon in my next video. Goodbye!